Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Miracles, where we empower your future. I'm Arif Gilani, the founder of the Camel Company of Canada and the Morgan Gilani Group. I wanted to make this video on 25th of February to invite you on a very special event that is happening this Thursday at 7 p.m. on Google Meetings. I have researched the market for over three decades, been involved in a lot of industries. I had a very unique experience this weekend that I wanted to share with my friends, family, and those of you who don't know me personally. I had the unique experience of being invited to a goodbye party for my good friend, Anson Kirby, who's known as the Urban Logger, originally from Vancouver. Last 25 years, he's been serving the communities in building their gardens and making it more beautiful. As he says, our goal is to make your home so beautiful, the first thing you come home to is to fall in love with your garden. So I went to his uh, goodbye party as he's planning to go back to Vancouver, and I met Alexander. Now, when we, when we entered the room, Alex was very quiet, sitting by the fireplace, right in the corner. Just give me one of those looks like that in the corner of his eyes and stayed quiet. After greetings and we got to know each other, I went to the kitchen to see what we can have to eat or drink, and I saw the kitchen a mess. As being a former chef myself, Having made pizzas in Sweden, I have this habit of not standing a lot of mess, so I'm always doing something. I started washing the dishes. I saw Alex coming up, and he stand right behind me and like this, and he says, what's your name? And I said, I'm Arif Gilani. And he says, where are you from? And I said, I am Kurdish. He says, where were you born? I said I was born inside Iranian borders. And he said, oh, that conversation you had about street runner with Anson, why does he call you the street runner? So I told him a story of how, when I was recovering from my trauma, I came, uh, you know, to Anson. He was one of the people who always supported me. He even gave me his home. He opened up his doors. He let me live there for three years while I was going through my rehab. And then when I gained my strength back, one day I was working with Anson. I come home from hard days labor, if you will. And Anson had a party at the yard and he had all of his friends gathered up and uh, uh, I went inside, took my shower, came back, dressed up differently, and I had the brand new pair of shoes. And I tighten up my shoes, go outside, and Ann says, hey, he says, uh, what's going on? Come on over here, I want to race you to the yard. The yard was 500 meters away in another, uh, you know, driveway. So as soon as he hit that, I jumped and raced like never before, like Hussein Bolt. And I, by the time he got in his car, drove and, you know, with his mini catch up with me, I was already at the yard and we had a blast. So since then, we've been working on a lot of projects together. And currently with my friend Frank Russo on what we call the street runner. So I told him that story. That's the reason why he called me the street runner. The other thing is he says, so how did you go from Iran to here? I said, oh, when? 1990. I was uh, disallowed from entering the university in Tehran because I'm Kurdish. So I talked with my late father and I said, I want to leave. I want to go somewhere where I can use my potential. I knew I had potential. My family knew that. Since I was a baby, everybody told me, you're very special, you're gonna do something special, you're gonna be somebody. I had that belief in me and I didn't wanna waste it in a society that put people down. So I decided to cross the border. And then he says, what happens? This is all questions that Alex was asking because he observed me for five minutes. And I'm telling you, I'm, 
I'm not telling you that I'm that special. I'm just telling you that you can attract the right people into your life if you just correct your thinking. How do we correct this thinking? Let me go back to the story. So, okay, you crossed with your favorite horse. I had a horse when I was 17 and I loved this horse. It was my last trip with the horse was to go across the border into Turkey to this small village where I had to have a fake ID from there to go through all of the checkpoints to go to Istanbul. This is happening in 1990 fall. Finally, I made it to Istanbul and some wonderful people came and picked me up from the bus station, take me to their home. My family is known in the Middle East, in Iran, Iraq, Turkey, everybody knows Sheikh Abdul Qadir Gailani, who is my forefather. And therefore, our community connections are very strong. My family has been in leadership of people for over 750 years. And I'm inspired to teach some teachings from that heritage, but also from what I've learned on my own. Because when you uproot it and replant it elsewhere, as Sheikh Suleiman Gilani said, after being uprooted from his place of comfort and going across the globe and going to U.S. and getting a degree there and then going back to help out thousands of people through the United Nations refugee program and get, went back to his home town, a hometown of 100 people. I said, how did you find it? How did you make your space back back in the city of Diana in Kurdistan? He said, I started at the doorstep, my friend. I started at the doorstep to greet the first person that I met. It was nice. And he saw me being nice. They promoted me themselves. And now I teach and preach to 500, thousands of people whenever the opportunity rises. He's in Australia and is going back to his home country to serve. We have mentorship and leadership programs that we're teaching on Thursday at 7 p.m. This, this opportunity that I'm bringing you is very unique, very unique in Canada because you get to be do it yourself. D-Y-I. Do it yourself education and we have the resources and we have the companies and we have a great team of people who support this motion. What's the motion? The motion is you were put on this planet at this historic time in 2024 for a great reason. Just going and repeating the same life that we had in 2023 and 2022 and 2021 is not God's plan for your life. I promise there's more in you. How? Huh. Very simple. It's a principle called time management. You know how soldiers function? You know what time the alarm bell, the time it rings until they're ready outside? And I witnessed this in Northern Iraq. How long does it take? Less than five minutes. Why? Because they're in a time clock. Alarm rings five minutes later on there with shoes tied up, everything ready to fight. That's how you have to greet every day, my friend. I've been proud and blessed to have this discipline in my life. I made a lot of mistakes in the first half of my life. Hopefully this in the second half of my life, I can, I can use that experience to guide some other people who are going to make the same mistakes. So you can stay focused on why God put you here. Today, Sunday, a lot of people are in churches, a lot of people are in mosques, a lot of people are in temples. They're praying to this heavenly father, this Lord, this higher power, infinite intelligence, my mentor, Napoleon Hill calls it. The highest of high powers. All of you believers are believing in one power. Why do we put brother against brother, man against man, creating wars and disasters instead of you and I holding hand on Thursday where I teach you how we can make peace, prosperity, and abundance the foundation of your life for generations to come. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you this Thursday on Zoom meetings, all you need to send a message to my team. They will get back in touch with you, send you a link, and we'll see each other on Thursday to start this 90-day transformational entrepreneur's program. 
The next 90 days will be miraculous for you and I.